So, I bought a house. Ah. Okay guys, so welcome. I have not filmed a video in a really long time. It's been absolute chaos. Um, but I am a new homeowner. I just got my house and I want to show you guys a little bit of a tour of my garden and inside of my house. It's still a major work in progress, but there is going to be a lot filmed in this garden back here. I already have so many plans of projects I want to do and like wildlife nature themed um, activities to do. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a look around um, how everything's looking right now. It's been one week since we moved in. So it's a little bit of a um, point in time, the beginning, and um, I'm really planning to transform this, but let's look at how it looks now. All right, so this area is kind of my, like, it's kind of English cottage garden themed. Um, so it has like a lot of, I think this is lupins. It has a lot of lupins. It has, I already have a, can you see it? Yeah, I already have the bird feeder um, put up. So I have black uh, sunflower seed in that right now. And I've never really had a bird feeder. So I'm testing it out and trying to get some ideas of how best to do it. And then once I have some of my ideas done, then I'll let you guys know um, kind of my tips and tricks and best practices, like from my perspective. But I'm still researching it, still trying things out. But um, I've already got some uh, chestnut back chickadees that have been going up to my bird feeder, which is really exciting. Um, what else do I have here? There's so much um, and honestly a lot of it. I don't know what it is <laughs> I'm so, That's like one of the most overwhelming things is just like how many different species are in here. There's irises for sure There's some sort of native. There's some native species too. I just don't really know what they are yet But uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn but it's very overgrown like there's a lot of dandelions a lot of weeds still so I have many weeks of weeding ahead of me, but I really want to keep this English cottage garden vibe going because it's just really nice to look out at. Um, I think I just want to clean it up, um, add in a few more native species, some more uh, flowers and um, species for the pollinators and um, really enjoy like the birds that will come in here and the view outside of my kitchen window. All right, along this side of my house is a bit of a shade garden. So it's all native species. That's what the seller said uh, right now. So I have a lot of ferns. I have some deciduous shade trees. And so here I really want to do some like bunchberry um, sword ferns and a lot of more shade tolerant native species. Um, a lot of the species where I live on Vancouver Island um, in the more rainforesty parts uh, actually are quite um, they love shade, so uh, I think I can grow a lot of really cool native species in the shade garden and um, kind of get some neat native plant growing experience here. So it's nice and cool and humid over here, so I'll be growing some ferns and more pretty uh, shade plants. Um, a lot of people have asked if I'm going to do only natives, um, native species. And I'm not going to, I love plants so much, I don't think I can restrict myself to only native species, but I really want to plant with a focus on native species. Um, you know, it's going to be better for the pollinators, and I just kind of like the idea of planting native species in a place that was originally probably like a Gary Oak Meadow here that was removed to build a house. Like, I kind of want to restore some of that feeling of like what it was before the residential area that I bought in was developed. So um, I'm trying to go in with that attitude. It might change though as time goes on but for now I think I want to do a good mix uh, with a focus on native species but also do some fun uh, ornamental species that aren't native as well. Okay and over here are some garden beds so the old owner had already set up some garden beds but they are pretty much overflowing with like species that have just established themselves probably from seeds being dropped or 
spread in the wind so I have so much work to do here I really want to build up more garden beds and do like a veggie gardening section so that is um, TBD I haven't even touched these beds at all yet so they're completely overgrown um, but this will be a lot of fun I'm gonna add more beds as well to get more veggie gardening in. I have a lot of grass I want to get rid of some of this grass and it, it takes a really long time to mow and it's not particularly productive environmentally so um, I want to get rid of some grass do some more veggies and some more um, kind of flower uh, pollinator garden stuff this tree right here is my uh, native Gary Oak tree it's, it's quite young you can see it's not very tall but um, I'm kind of I found a few uh, little caterpillars eating the trees here but I'm hoping this one will grow nice and big and strong and I also have another little one over there too um, I've got this really big cedar fence in the back too, or cedar privacy hedge, which is pretty neat. I love that thing. This is my patio. It still has a lot of work I want to do, but it's a nice sunny patio uh, for now. And I got my patio furniture. I might do some like herbs and stuff here. I haven't decided. I haven't even planted all these plants yet, but for now it's kind of a nice place to hang out. Um, this was already here before, so I think I'm going to give it to a friend who has kids and take it out, but it's very cute. I just realized I haven't mentioned anything about the actual house itself. I've been talking about the yard. Um, so the house was built in the 1950s. It is about 1,100 square feet finished and 300 square feet unfinished. The garage is unfinished. Um, and then... It is single story rancher and that's kind of what we wanted. We wanted something small. It's three bedrooms and one bathroom. Uh, it was about all we could get in our budget, but I think it works out because it really is the perfect size for us. It, we are pretty, I know it doesn't look like we're minimalist because of all the boxes that we have, but we don't have that much stuff. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the house and it's just, please excuse how messy it is. It's this is real life and kind of show you how I set up the bedrooms okay so coming in from the garden you enter the house I want to show you the house from the entryway in I don't think it makes sense to from the garden in so let's go to the entryway and I will show you the house right so this is what it's like coming in through the door the immediate area you have a nice little uh, mud room and then we walk in to the living room the um, kind of fireplace and the dining room in the back all in my little kitty right there it's so cute so I'll go around to each part of the house and tell you a little bit about it. If you go this way, um, this is where all of the bedrooms are laid out and we also have a linen closet in here. Um, so this is the main bedroom. There is a middle room and a back room and I'll show you guys each one. This is my bedroom. It is absolute uh, madness right now. We just got the bed up, um, so we have a lot to go in this room, but it's very nice and big, very bright and airy. So um, I really like this. It's, my, it's like three times bigger than our last bedroom. So uh, I'm quite happy with this one. Okay, this is my partner's room. Um, so it's gonna be his office. Uh, he's got his computer right there and um, purple walls, we are gonna change that. But for now, uh, I think it was like an old kid's room and he's got the best view in the house. Right, so this room is my room actually. It's gonna be my library and it's going to be uh, let's focus. It's gonna be a guest room. So for now I have all my books up and I want to get a full-size mattress here for guests. So, and I wanna get like cute, cozy like vibes. And so this is gonna be like a reading room, especially in the winter when it's very rainy here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I'll have a cozy reading room. The bathroom, honestly, it's not very exciting. Um, it's your standard stuff. Uh, it does have a window though, which is fun, a window into the garden, but yeah, I, I won't show you too much more. There's not too much exciting about this room. Okay, and then from the bedrooms, you come into the kitchen. All right, this is the kitchen. Uh, it's chaos right now, don't judge. I said this was a before video, um, 
The kitchen is a little 1950s, but it's big, it's bright, and it has the most beautiful garden window that my cat already loves sitting in. He's been sitting there all day, and I'm gonna put my succulents on there, which is exciting. Um, and we have so much storage space, which is very exciting. Uh, this gets good light in the morning, so it's really great for a lot of my plants. And um, we have a lot of plants for this kitchen, so this is probably all, a lot of it's going to change. So from the kitchen, there's kind of this area, I don't know what to do with it. It's just a area that I have plants in right now. And then the slider door out to the patio. So, and then in here I have a laundry room. We have so much junk right here. The dryer's broken. Um, all of our moving crap is here. We're gonna clean it up, I promise. But uh, that's what it looks like right now. And then um, through here is the garage, oh God, the garage. So this is really great to have um, storage. So I wanna do over here like my backpacking stuff and my field stuff. So I have so much field work stuff. Um, I wanna kinda lay it out all uh, along here so I can grab it and go really quickly when I head into the field. I also wanna do like maybe treadmill or some sort of exercise area over here for the winter, but this is going to be very well organized very shortly. Right, and this is my little dining area. We have a, um, our table up already, and this is gonna be kind of where we play games, have friends over for wine, um, do puzzles. Um, I really already like sitting there because it has a really nice view of the outside. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the front yard just for like privacy, but this is kind of like the nice view of my dining room. So this is my living room. Uh, my little cat's sitting there already. <laughs> he loves the front uh, window. And uh, the nice thing is on the couch, I can sit out and watch the entire neighborhood. It's really fun and nice. I have a hummingbird feeder up that I've been watching. And um, yeah, this living room's pretty much done. We've just brought all our old furniture from our last house, but um, it's bright, it's airy, and it has a really nice picture window that we uh, absolutely love. I hope you enjoyed this tour. I am so happy and grateful to be here, honestly. There's, it's an exciting time owning a house and it's crazy even like saying that, like um, it's just been a goal of mine for many, many, many years to move out of the apartment and into the house. And I really, it's really important to me to be, I guess, a good steward of the land and to help kind of make it the best that it can be and to use my skills as doing biology and some of the work that I do at work and around wildlife habitat and ecological restoration um, and all of the past experience and kind of use it in a small way in my own home. So let me know um, in the comment section down below uh, if you guys have any questions or if you have any video ideas that you want to see. I already have some exciting stuff planned. Um, just showing you how I'm going to transform this space. Uh, leave a like on this video if you are interested in something like that. Thank you so much to my patrons who've been supporting me kind of through this journey and um, when I'm not making videos as well too. Um, your support means a lot. If you are interested in joining, the link is patreon.com slash wildbiologist. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye!